Hi everyone. So I decided to come back to the common space and first give you a quick tour of the rehearsal space. It's slightly smaller, just as cozy, and it's configured a little bit differently, but it's a great space to use as well. Probably use this space once in a while too. So I want to tell you why I teach the Chubbuck technique, why I love it, and why Toronto needs this studio. So actors, don't let any coach tell you that you don't need a technique and you don't need any sort of method. You do, you need some set of tools, something that you can hold on to when you are given 12 pages of script to know and perform within 24 hours. You have an audition, most oftentimes the audition is the next day or if you're lucky it's, it's two days away. So what do you do? A lot of actors, they immediately start memorizing. Don't ever memorize. You want to know the character. And the Chubbuck technique is the only technique that I ever came across that gave me a set of practical tools that were effective and that helped me to use my own life, my own experience, my own personality, my own fears, my own pain, my own trauma, my own joys to drive the character, to propel the character to overcome their own fears and challenges in order to win the scene because this is what creates a dynamic performance and this is what they want to see in the room. They want to see a performance that's connected and that's driven. And the Chubbuck technique is the only technique that I ever came across that was simple in terms of you don't have to learn a whole new set of you know vocabulary just to understand the technique you know it's clear uh effective practical tools for giving a great audition you know i always say that <clears throat> you have the option to either give a convincing performance when you go in the audition room or a compelling one and these tools will give you the framework so that you can go in and give a compelling and dynamic performance and get the call back and win the role and that's what you want to do you know why does the city need the arts why do we need the arts why do we you know we need we need performers who are connected to the message that they're giving whether they're actors or the TEDx presenters I've worked with a TEDx presenter and the key to any message which we all have if you're out there and you are dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis and you're in sales, you're selling something, you have a message. And if you want to give a message that is powerful, people are drawn to people who are connected to what they have to say and who are driven. And storytellers have the power to do that through the arts. And so we want artists who are strong in their connection to the message. You know, this is what will change and affect the hearts and minds of the people, whether you're doing it through the written word or you're doing it on screen, through a performance or just through a talk. So this technique is not just for actors, it's for actors, writers, directors, and it's for anyone <clears throat> who's willing to do the work, understand what it is their character is going after, why they're going after it, what's getting in their way, how they're going about getting it. You know, dynamic people go about getting what they want in a variety of interesting ways. So this technique is all about figuring that out for the character, and delivering it in a great performance. Okay, so those are my reasons. Uh, I love this technique. I love this city. Toronto deserves a Chubbuck studio. And uh, with your help, I'd like to bring it to the city. So go to my GoFundMe and any donation is welcome and appreciated. Thank you for your support, for your encouragement and for your help. And I'll see you in class.